subject and verb. Like John plays badminton. So John is the subject, plays is the verb. He is clever. He is the subject, is is the verb. Is that okay? The whole okay so far? You can understand, yeah? Alright. So that's the subject verb that we need to know. Alright? This is how I hate repeating. Okay, all right. Uh, this is how uh, a language is formed, especially English. All right, we have letters, what we call A B C D. They come together from words, and from words, you put two or three words, or even three, four, five words, they become a phrase or a clause. And if the meaning is complete, they become a sentence. And then the idea is. Packed in paragraph, and then the whole uh, the whole meaning is achieved through an essay. Is that okay? The notes you have, right? Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry, did you? I heard a very sad news. I'm sorry, sorry about that. Uh, but that is like. So uh, from, we have only three types, I mean three or four types actually, but we have, I'm just focusing on three. Simple, compound, complex, alright? So simple actually, I want three of you at the back uh, to go and study. If you don't know, check with your friends. Uh, if you're not very clear, check with me, alright? Because we have done, this is the basics only, alright? So now we are going into compound sentence. Alright, this is we are just Okay, so you all have to uh, check with the students in front or <coughs> with me if you are not very sure. Now we are moving into compound. Oh, oh sorry, complex. This one. Yeah, complex. So we have missed, missed quite a lot. Alright? But this is just the basics. Because uh, once I finish the basics, then we will go deeper. And then you will probably understand better. That's why this semester, especially last semester, I want to help you to get in. But of course, I cannot give you in just like that. You have to work hard also. Can you all understand now? Alright? Because whatever we do now, it's not only about your results. It's not only about... No, it, to me, it doesn't matter. I, I hope all of you understand that. Alright? Whether you 
study, you don't study. But if you pass, you fail. I still get paid by the college. Correct? But I don't want to live like that. It hurts me. All right? Especially a small class like this, I want to make sure everything gets in. You see? It's not for me, it's for you and your future. I hope you understand. Is that okay? So with that understanding, let's work hard. Alright? Study time we study. So enjoy time we enjoy. So play time we play. Sleep time we really sleep. Eating time we really eat. But study time we really focus on study. Can we do that? Yeah? Alright? Let's do that. Okay, now let's look at complex sentences. Alright? Okay, complex sentences, they are divided into two. Independent, I hope you understand this word. Independent clause and Dependent clause. Okay, uh, Jason, what is independent? What do you understand by that? Remember, I, I already explained last week. Yes. Yes. What is independent? Independent means like, uh, like the one or the one sentence can uh, exist alone. It can stand by itself. Can you see that? Yes. It can stand by itself. Is that okay? Dependent means it cannot stand by itself. Is that okay? So independent clause plus dependent clause becomes a complex sentence. You know, as I'm highlighting, I hope you're also highlighting or you know whatever. If you, have, you need a highlighter pen, take from me. Are you okay with the highlighter pen? You need it? Uh, you need a highlighter pen? Will you return it back to me? No, I used to have many, you know, but you know, and the number has gone down tremendously. If it is, yeah, let's check. You know, this is the way I study, alright? So I, if possible, I, I don't know, maybe you have a different style. But I think highlighting is good. It's good. We, we remember better, right? Okay, now let's look at the next one. Use subordinating conjunctions to create complex sentences. Subordinating conjunctions. Austin, what is subordinating conjunctions? Because we got coordinating, correct? Coordinating being, uh, all, all the, did I say, I said fanboys, correct? Fanboys means F is for four, alright? A is for N. N is for nor, B is for but, yeah, uh, e, o, o is for all, Y is for yet, and S is for so. Correct? Right? So that is, I think it's here. These 
becomes a dependent clause because you, you are not the, the, the meaning is not complete you are giving the reason but the reason for what idea we do is that okay now? all of you okay? okay? don't go okay? okay, okay follow, alright let's look at some subordinating conjunctions these are all the subordinating conjunctions coordinating is you to remember seven alright, fanboys alright, coordinating but subordinating, we go use of it, slowly you will understand. As you start using in a sentence, you will know. Is that okay? So there are many, right? Relating to time, to people, to things, to condition, to reasons, to purpose, and to contrast. Okay, all this becomes subordinated conjunctions. Okay, let's try and understand the formula now. This is very, very important. Once you understand the formula, then easy for you to read. Simple sentence is independent clause. It's a simple sentence. Correct? Is it not? Compound sentence is independent clause plus a coordinating conjunction and then independent clause again. Correct? Do you understand? Yeah? Or independent clause, okay, here we have a comma, or independent clause but if you are going to use a sentence, sentence connected, then it is the semicolon, then only comma, then independent clause. Is it? Okay. 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 Maybe. Because I am worried about the three of you because you are new. Uh, so this may be a bit confusing. But I wanted to go back and also, you know, study the first part so you will understand this better. If you don't understand, check with your friends in front. Okay? If you still don't understand, check with me in the next lesson. Is that okay? Or even break down afterwards. Alright? Because once you get this correct, once you understand what is a simple sentence, a compound sentence, a complex sentence, then the next level of moving to a paragraph <laughs> and moving to an essay becomes easier. Is that okay?